What's up everyone, my name is Keith and I'm going to talk about why you should not go straight to a stage right when you enter EDC. This video is specifically for people that come to EDC at like 7 or 8 p.m. Because from 4.30 to 7, only Cosmic Metals is open and the rest of it is, well, closed until 7 p.m. So, I'm going to talk about what else you can do instead of going to a stage and the benefits of not going to a stage. But first, intro. Now when you think about it, 80% of your time while at this festival is going to be at a stage because, well of course, you're there for the music, you're there for dancing, you're there to party. But there's a lot more going on in this whole environment except for just the music and partying. There are art installations, there's a carnival in the middle, there's a lot of rides since it's a carnival of course. So I highly suggest once you get to the festival, if you're there after 7pm, you should go on a ferris wheel right away. There's probably going to be three of them, maybe four, I'm not sure exactly, they change it every year, but I really suggest going on a ferris wheel because you get to see the whole thing, you get to see how big this really is, and you get another view of EDC, which always helps out, you know, having a different perspective. So if you like other carnival rides, the, I don't know, the ones that get you dizzy or the ones that, you know, make you puke, I highly suggest you go on those because Take advantage, those are free. Usually when you go to carnivals or the LA Fair, those cost like $8 to go to, but since EDC ticket is quite pricey, they add it into the ticket, so everything's just free. And even though it's in May, it could still be pretty hot for some of you, I understand that. Know that there is a log ride, and it usually moves around, but it's pretty much in the middle of the whole festival, and you get wet. You can have fun, it's fun obviously. And yeah, don't sleep on that log ride. Apparently it's been there for the past like, I don't know, five, six, maybe more years. And I only saw it last year. And then I saw videos of previous years of the log ride and I'm like, oh, it's been there this whole time. But also there's art installations. When you enter into EDC, you go down the bleachers, not like right where Kinetic Field is, but a little before it. There's gonna be art installations, you can take cool pictures, you can just appreciate it. And if you're ready to finally go to a stage, I really suggest you go to a different stage that you don't plan on going to the whole weekend. Some of you might not wanna be at Neon Gardens, Wasteland, Quantum Valley. Those are very niche stages for specific genres, so even if you don't enjoy the music, I highly suggest you go to a stage, maybe be there for 10 minutes, walk around, check it out, be very present and just appreciate what's going on around here you know you're not going to be there the whole weekend so you might as well just see everything take a couple pictures take videos really take it in and yeah even though i'm not at wasteland all the time i still go there to check it out and I'm like wow this is crazy i see all those metal blocks like behind trucks and stuff and i'm realizing like is this because they want to block out sound because wasteland can get pretty insane and that's what they say in the videos i never realized until i heard pasquale say it but it's just really cool to see you know it's a very cool scene. And then you could go to Circuit Grounds, Kinetic Field, Cosmic Meadows, wherever you want to go to have your fun. But just to repeat, once you get to EDC past 7 p.m., I suggest you not go to a stage. Explore the whole festival. Really soak in the experience of that you're here. You have three days. You have a lot to see. And yeah, that's my tip for today. I really hope it helped out. I hope that when you get into the festival, you think of me and you go, yeah. Actually, I'm not going on a stage right now. I'm gonna go on that Ferris wheel because I do want to see all of EDC. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching my videos. I'm so glad that you're here. Just know that I'm not making this for me. I'm making all these videos for you. And that's it. Peace out, guys.